All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you with some news out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So after Angela Hill was forced to withdraw from her strawweight bout against Tisha Torres this Saturday at UFC 256, the UFC has found a replacement for Hughes, or excuse me, Hill, against Tisha Torres in none other than LFA strawweight Sam, Sam Page Hughes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Tiny Tornado, Tisha Torres coming in 11 and 5. Hughes coming in at 5 and 1. Now, Torres coming off a win over Brianna Van Buren earlier this year. Before that, she was on that long win streak against just, you know, top contenders and former, well, current and former champs. Hughes is coming off a win over Danielle Hindley at LFA just under two months ago. Before that, suffered a loss to Vanessa Demopoulos four months ago. Now, this will be Hughes' fourth fight in 2020, so she has been keeping very busy. Torres, the elder fighter, 31 years to 28. However, Hughes will be the taller fighter, 5 feet 5 inches, 165 centimeters, to Torres is 5 feet 1 inch, 155 centimeters. Hughes will also have a reach advantage, 64 inches, excuse me, 64.5 inches, 164 centimeters, to Torres is 61 inches, 155 centimeters. So this was a little bit of a surprise, but I like this matchup Hughes is definitely less experienced than Torres but she is not to be underestimated her her submission game she just choked a girl out with a standing guillotine uh, last month so brings in some nice submissions a decent striker as well now she is going up against one of the better strikers at straw weight in Torres the tiny tornado who really returned to form in her last bout. Uh, this could be make for a very interesting fight on the feet. On the ground, I think it gets a little more interesting because I like Hughes' ground game. Torres is mostly a defensive-minded grappler who's going to look to get back to the feet. She will take an opponent down on the occasion, though, in order to score some points or if she feels that she has a stronger ground game. But... Nice pickup by the UFC, and you know it, well, I'll get to that in a second, but I definitely like this replacement, and I think Hughes is, well, we'll see if she's ready for the UFC or not. Torres is a top 15 fighter still. She's been in the UFC since 2000, late 2014, so big step up for Sam Hughes on late notice, less than a week in her first UFC fight. Okay, so like I said, this should be a pretty good, interesting fight. Now, what's really funny is that when Lupita Godinez recently won the LFA strawweight title, they asked her if she was going to be ready to um, defend it against Sam Hughes. And Godinez said, now she's really trying to get into the UFC, and now here you got Sam Hughes getting into the UFC ahead of Godinez. So pretty funny, uh, kind of ironic, I guess. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WM Macy Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.